So I want to show you my oxygen generation setup. Looked around on YouTube, couldn't find anyone who's making their own oxygen. And this is something that is very, very helpful. In order to be able to have an oxyacetylene or oxy LPG rig, you need oxygen. Uh, for melting things, for brazing, for welding, super, super handy. Um, what I have done is bought myself an oxygen generator. And this was an old medical oxygen generator, which I bought off Gumtree for a couple hundred dollars. Out of it flows five liters per minute of medical grade oxygen, which is about 95% pure oxygen, which is plenty enough for running a oxy torch. <clears throat> Turning it on. And it starts pumping out oxygen which is fantastic. It uses a pressure swing absorber in order to concentrate oxygen out of the air. You have a little dial to dial up the amount of oxygen that it actually pushes out. And I have hooked up a little tube straight into my regulator, which allows low pressure oxygen to go through. So this is the Oxy LPG using medical grade oxygen. And this flame is good enough for doing brazing with melting, melting down a bit of metal, but not cutting. Brazing is fantastic just with a straight oxygen generator. However, just to prove that I could do it, and also because I wanted to cut with the oxy, I decided that I wanted to pressurize the oxygen that was coming out of the oxygen generator. So we set it up going firstly through some desiccant, so we've got a little container full of desiccant just to make sure it's 100% dried air. Once it goes through a desiccant, it goes into here, into a bag system. As the bag inflates, it lifts up this arm and triggers one of the tilt switches, which turns on the compressor. When the bag goes down again, the other tilt switch gets activated and turns off the compressor. This is the repetitive cycle and it keeps filling up the air compressor. Once this tank is, gets compressed up, we now have 100 PSI compressed medical grade oxygen, which we can use for cutting. Now, the compressor is a oil-free compressor. Um, there's another thing which I have done is in the back of it, you can hear through the drain valve, I've actually put desiccant to make sure that it stays dry in there. And sure enough, there is water getting in there and we can see that the desiccant does turn green. I have the ability to fill up LPG cylinders directly from here. And to do that, I've just made this little adapter. I've done everything in Nitto air compressor fittings just because it's handy. And I can open this up. Then we can use the LPG cylinder that's got 100 PSI oxygen. And we can use that for cutting or for brazing uh, with oxy. All these clamps, I started using hose clamps, but the hose clamps were actually failing. And so I started making my own clamps, which are wire clamps. And these hold a lot tighter and a lot stronger and a lot more durable than actual hose clamps and very cheap. If you want to learn how to make wire hose clamps, check out my video link in the description below. Thanks heaps for watching and I hope that helps you in making your own oxygen.